Just an overload of testimony yesterday, really. Um, and we're going to start off with a real bang again today because right off the bat, there's going to be a motion for a mistrial heard based on the way that this jury was chosen. But of those 11 witnesses that we heard yesterday, several really stood out because for the most part, they really highlight Casey's defense, which is to drag her family through the mud. It's down to the wire for a defense team that's been struggling, and the hits are getting harder. You never told Crystal Holloway, while the two of you were being romantic, that this was an accident that snowballed out of control. Never confided in anything like that. I wouldn't do that. For Casey Anthony, destroying her father on the stand is a way to win her case. She's accused him of covering up what she claims was the accidental drowning of her child. And saying he had a mistress could help prove it. Did you ever tell her not to say anything about your affair with her? I'm going to say this again. I did not have an affair with her, so the answer is no. The Anthony family endured yet another day on the stand, but it was this man. Morning, Mr. Cronk. A meter reader whose testimony seemed critical. Roy Cronk's emergency calls led police to Kaylee's remains. I noticed something that looked white and there was a uh, like a gray bag down in there. The defense paints him less as a good Samaritan who found the child's bones and more as an accomplice who was somehow involved, perhaps for reward money, perhaps just for fame. Did you call your son and tell him that you were soon to be famous? No, sir. Did you at any time tell him you were going to be rich? No, sir. Even ABC licensed photos from Kronk, but prosecutors were quick to point out all the things he wasn't. Have no, you ever had access to the home of the Anthony family? No, ma'am. Their backyard? No, ma'am. Their computer? No, ma'am. Kaylee Anthony's diapers? No, ma'am. It went from bad to worse for Casey when the judge barred the jury from hearing her former fiancé back up her claim of sexual abuse. She told me she woke up one night with Lee standing over her and in another instance um, was groping her. Something else jurors didn't hear? Surprise testimony from jail guards about the Casey Anthony they've come to know. She always had a pleasant attitude. Miss Anthony is a model inmate. A model inmate who could land on death row. And it has been 42 days since the jury selection process began in this case. We are told by this defense attorney they are down to just a handful of witnesses left. And Robin, wait for it. The judge actually articulated in court he wants to know soon if Ms. Anthony is going to take the stand. And it's that moment where he asks her to stand up and say if it's her decision and her decision alone. We might actually get that today.